Welcome back. And with me now is Rebecca Hamilton, who is over the state libraries. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for being with us. You know, most people don't understand, not only do you run that state library, but you provide services to all the libraries and programs like Homework Louisiana, Service to the Blind. And every year when people say, why do you take tourism money to help out the libraries? Those services are so critical um, to so many parts of the state. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I always tell people we're like the public library for public libraries. So we serve 340 public libraries, and everything that they do, we do for them. So loaning books, internet connections, educational databases, training, all the things that people would go to their local library, we do for the public libraries. And the reason we do that is because there's a great difference between how a small rural library is funded and a larger urban library. So there's a lot of differences in what they're able to provide. So we'd like to fill in the gap that's what we use our federal money, money for. And um, for example, the Talking Books and Braille Library. We do that, but it allows every library in the state to participate. And that is anyone who gets a note from their doctor can get Braille materials, audio books, large print books, and we loan those out. And we're partnering with the National Library Service for the Blind to do that. So all of those things combined, we supplement what they do. And how do you not fund that? And you know, one of the most successful programs, Homework Louisiana, during COVID, I think uh, use of that was up several hundred percent. And now coming into the summer, it'll be great for kids to stay up to date uh, heading into the next school year. Tell us a little bit about that program. Well, it's really important to libraries. We have played this role for a long time to keep children from losing what they learn in the, in the school year over the summer. So we keep them reading through the summer reading program, the Young Reader's Choice Award programs, and then Homework Louisiana, which is an incredibly valuable program. And like you said, usage spiked about 300% wow. immediately after the pandemic. It's leveled off a little bit, but we've got new users that didn't realize we had it. And that is a, you know, no cost to citizens. We do what we pay for it, and it goes through their library. So anybody in Louisiana that has a library card just logs in from home or uh, the library with their library card, and it's certified teachers. So we've gotten, if I had to say two programs, we get the most uh, positive feedback over, Homework Louisiana and our Talking Books and Braille Library. And I got to tell you, as I travel the state and visit with different, and speak at a lot of schools, the Uniquely Louisiana program where they can learn about unique things in Louisiana has helped kids not only learn about what's here in Louisiana that I know I didn't learn about in school, but it also inspires them to get their parents to travel to those places Absolutely. like the World Heritage Site, Poverty oh, Point, yeah. and all those great historical places around Louisiana uh, that either I didn't pay attention <laughs> to school or I didn't know about. But uh, that's another great program y'all put together that is used all over Louisiana. Well, and our public libraries do a really good job of anything. If I say the parks are doing this program, we need some of your brochures, we can get those out to all the libraries and they put them out. So they're community, they're anchor institutions in their community. So they want to help the park succeed and the art agency succeed and the welcome center succeed. So it's a partnership at the local level. Well, your team has done an incredible job. And I know it's juggling doing this COVID, uh, not only operating the library and helping and assisting those other libraries, but how do you do that safely? So your team, uh, thank you for being You're with welcome. us today. Thank you. I'm real excited about what new programs. Book Fest this Book year Festival. is going to be back. When's that going to be? Saturday, October 29th. And listen, I've already heard from many authors <laughs> around the state that they're so excited it's going to be back in Baton Rouge. That's something people aren't going to want to miss.